Charles Swanson from Velocitech here. In this video, I'm going to show you two of the new features that we've added to the ProStart in firmware version 42. Firmware version 42 was released in July of 2022, and it is only available on the new ProStart. We'll get started by turning on the device and then pressing and holding reset to enter the user configuration menus. <clears throat> the two new features in this firmware version are new timer behavior and a new GPS off or shift mode. Um, in the configuration menus, you'll have access to select the timer behavior and the GPS on off uh, configuration. So the third menu, third configuration menu, is the timer behavior. You'll see here the start icon lit, the timer icon lit, and then the timer behavior uh, scrolling at the bottom. There are three options for timer behavior. They are reset, the factory default, rollover, and count up. and you can select or toggle between the options using the line set buttons. So this takes you backwards through the list and square takes you forwards and then it rolls over. So reset is the factory default. Um, reset is the way the pro start has always behaved. Um, when, when a countdown timer expires, the timer resets to the, to the time it was set to and waits for you to start a new sequence. In the rolling mode, the uh, pro start starts a new countdown timer just as soon as the last one expires. And then in count up, the pro start starts an, an elapsed timer when the countdown timer expires. You can read more about the new timer behavior options on our blog and in the version 42 manual. For, for, this, uh, for this video, we'll just leave it at the factory default reset and move along. We wanna get to the 10th configuration menu. The 10th configuration menu is GPS on, off, GPS at the top, uh, GPS status, at the bottom. Uh, you can toggle the GPS on and off using the line set buttons. And then you can save your selection using the gun button. Uh, for this video, we'll configure the ProStart to GPS off because I want to show you how the, how the ProStart works with the GPS turned off. Here we are back in normal operation. Uh, GPS on off allows users to hide all of the GPS features and only use the pro start as a compass and timer. In the GPS off configuration, the new pro start works just like the shift used to and additionally benefits from seven years of sensor development and it uses new technology, which simply wasn't available for the shift. Um, the shift was a tactical compass that Velocitech introduced in 2013, and it was a beloved product. Uh, it, it was focused on shift tracking, and it did an amazing job of that. Teams used the Pro Start to win multiple world championships and other high profile events. Uh, the, the net promoter score was the highest of any product we've ever produced. And we transferred a lot of the thinking and a lot of the way the shift worked to this new GPS off mode for the pro start. So if you like the shift and you missed it and you miss it, you can now configure the new pro start to behave just like the shift used to. In this GPS off mode, the line set buttons, the square and triangle, 
are now used to set reference angles. So let's imagine we're sailing upwind in our pre-start and we're on starboard. We're going to set 105 as our starboard reference angle. And so the pro start will remember that 105 is our reference angle. We're going to tack over and get a port tack reference angle. And 187 is our port tack reference angle. So you'll know the reference angle is set when the arrow at the top of the screen is lit and there is a digit on the bottom line of data. So at the top, we've got the, the hash at top dead center lit up and then a digit on the bottom. So we can imagine a, an, a seven degree header, or I'm sorry, a seven degree lift here. It's, it's seven degrees positive. That's a lift regardless of which tack you're on. Um, lifts are positive, head, headers are negative with, uh, with, with this GPS off mode. So you've got seven degrees of lift and the bar graph, each segment is three degrees. It's showing two segments to the left or two segments counterclockwise, which is a lift on port tack. Anyway, the pro start will remember these reference angles. So 187 and all the way back to 105. So the so once the reference angles are set, you know um, pretty much immediately whether you're headed or lifted and by how much. You offload the mental math to the pro start just like you used to do with the ship. There's no need to write on the deck or fumble with wet notes. There's no rollover math. The pro start will do all that for you. Uh, when, when you tack or when you exit a lured mark, you will know immediately whether you are on the lifted board. And if you are outside of 25 degrees, from a reference angle, like we are here at 135 in this example, at 105 and 185. Uh, if you're outside of 25 degrees from a reference angle, the shift tracking turns off and there's nothing on the bar graph and nothing on the bottom line of data. So here we are again, falling onto port tack, up 10, back to starboard, down 12. Well, wouldn't stay there. Anyway, if you're unhappy with your reference angles for any reason, you can clear them by pressing both the triangle and square button at the same time. And now you can see the reference angles are gone. ProStart's forgotten them and it's just behaving as a compass. So that's the new shift mode or GPS off mode on the new Pro Start. If you have any feature suggestions or requests, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching.